Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Fietta, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about an innovative new lip reading app out of the UK. It was developed by a partnership between Lyopa and Lancaster Teaching Hospital Trust. Let me tell you about the Stravi app. Now normally when I'm demonstrating how an app works for these app overview videos, I'm demonstrating on my MacBook and recording with my iPhone. But with this particular app, I do need to actually use my iPhone to demonstrate how it works. So you'll see a few more cuts between um, myself and then the app screen throughout this video. The Sravi app utilizes Lyopa's lip reading technology to aid users in communicating. Specifically, we're talking about users who can form words with their mouth, they can make the shape of words, but for some medical reason or another, at present they aren't able to audibly express the words, they have no voice. In fact, the developers of this app describe the mission behind Sravi as giving a voice to the voiceless. At present, this app is being tested out in intensive care unit settings within hospitals for patients who have lost their voice due to procedures such as tracheostomies. Stravi utilizes AI, specifically machine learning. So the more you use the app, the better it will be able to interpret the phrases that you're mouthing. Early evidence showed that Stravi correctly interpreted the phrases people were saying with greater than 90% accuracy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut to some screen recordings of the app so that I can show you how it works and what it looks like. So now I've switched to recording on my computer so that I can show you the app on my phone. So when I open the app, you can see that the first thing it shows is a video. Um, it's got a circular cutout and this allows me to record what I'm saying. How this would normally be utilized in a hospital setting would be that the caregiver or um, the healthcare professional would actually be holding the phone and pointing it at a user. So in that case, you would press this little camera icon with an arrow pointed side to side, and that would turn it around. So um, now you're seeing the computer's view of me, and that's how it would be recorded if you were trying to interpret what someone else was saying. But let's say you were trying to use the app yourself, you could flip it around again. I'll show you this view just because it's a little clearer, but again, in a hospital setting, um, this would probably be flipped because you would be a healthcare professional or a caregiver or a family member um, trying to interpret what your loved one is trying to tell you. So if you touch the um, record button on the bottom, that's that orange circle button with the red dot in the center, it's gonna record what I say. But before I do that, let me show you the phrase list. So I'll touch these three blue bars in the upper left corner. And one of the things I can touch um, second to the top is the phrase lists. These are the lists of different phrases that the app is prepared to interpret. So I'll touch the hospital list, and these are things that somebody in a hospital um, might say and so if you look over at this, you can see that there are some uh, familiar phrases. You can also go back and look at the default list. And this is um, a bit longer of a list. They're just basic phrases, things like, I'm hungry, please, thank you, what's going on, where am I, I can't sleep. Things that somebody who's going through um, a difficult time or recovery might need to say. I'm going to mouth the phrase, I need to sleep. Several options popped up. I see the one that I want to say there at the top, so I'll just touch it now. If I were um, a care provider in a hospital setting, I might turn the app to the individual that I'm talking to and allow them to touch the phrase that they're trying to say. I need to sleep. And then the app verbalizes that for you. You may have noticed that I wasn't doing any sort of dramatic over enunciation as I um, mouthed this phrase into the app. Another important phrase that needs to be communicated in a hospital setting often is I'm in pain. So let's try that one. You can see it's there on the top. Um, it gave another option just in case it interpreted it incorrectly um, but again this utilizes machine learning so the more I use it the more the app will learn to read my lips so I'll give it that reinforcement that it was correct there at the top and then the app read that so that's how the app works you simply mouth the words into um, the screen or into the video and then the app should interpret it 
I cited several statistics or descriptions of the efficacy of Saravi in this video, but if you'd like to learn more about the evidence behind the app, I encourage you to view their website. I'll provide a link in the description of this video. Please remember, as with all of my videos, nothing I say here is intended to be medical advice or recommendation because I'm not that kind of doctor. Thank you for watching. Please like, follow, and subscribe.